people we are back again with another banga 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 baby calm down calm down the schools that i'm seeing are blowing my mind oh calm down <laughs> I greet you all everyone that tune in to see this video hope that you all are doing amazing appreciate you for coming with me on this series thank you for supporting me on this journey i don't think this is ever gonna end however we are on it before we go further into today's video i want to give a very big shout out to high school africa campus run and monkey desert these guys have worked so hard promoting the high schools in africa and i'm going to leave their links in the description of this video some of the videos here you know, i got them from their channels and now before we take a look at wesley college in cape coast i want you to know that all the videos are coming fancy man girls all the schools i cannot name them because i'm doing my research on here i'm seeing so many schools one thing that i know for sure is that we are going to get to the school that you would like to see with that being said, kindly like this video as we go straight to the campus of one of African most prestigious girls, all girls college located in Cape Coast, Ghana. Wesley Girls High School, WGHS, is an educational institution for girls in Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. Established in 1836, this esteemed public secondary high school holds an illustrious record of academic excellence, instilling values, and empowering young minds to make a positive impact in society. With a legacy spanning over 187 years, Wesley Girls High School has emerged as a pioneer in providing quality education to young women. Throughout its storied history, the school has consistently maintained a reputation for academic excellence, producing accomplished alumni who have excelled in various fields, including academia, business, arts, and public service.
you guys i know a school like this where i come from but it's not for even the rich yes you might think you have money but your child can't go there because it's for wealthy people now this school <laughs> and it's even more what i'm seeing here is even more luxurious than a version of this school somewhere in my own country yeah you can see it's not my fault i haven't seen this before what i know this to be back home is not for free and it's not for everybody it's for distinctly rich but in ghana this school is free of charge honestly ghana is another country that we need to study in universities i had wanted to do another school first before wesley college but what drew my attention to them is this video let's see this video and i'll be back it has always been tradition that after 20 years of graduating from wesley girls high school old girls will come back host speech and prize giving day and give back something substantial to their dear alma mater historically these have taken the form of piecemeal projects by a single year group but for the first time 12 year groups comprising of three sponsoring years and their supporting anniversary year groups have come together to deliver a multi-purpose building to house a centralized administration and a versatile resource center for the holistic development of staff and students, the Legacy Project. OGA is the Alumni Association of our school, Wesley Girls High School which has been in existence for 185 years. Basically, it's been a historic experience mm -hmm. of realizing that projects, especially infrastructure projects, tend to suffer from maintenance. We all know the importance that um, old girls play when it comes to Westie Girls High School. You know, usually after 20 years, every um, year group celebrating their 20th anniversary goes to the school to host speech day, but then they're also always commissioning a project. In the past, we've had um, other year groups do you know, solar panels, we've had some renovating maybe a science lab, we have renovation of the sick bay and all that. Okay, so what's happening this year? More or less do not even have an administration block. The headmistress's office is somewhere under the sick bay, I think. The bezel's office, um, other offices are scattered all over. The headmistress requested that the school was at a point where it needed adequate space to accommodate the administration and resource center for the school. After understanding the needs of the school, let us touch on the design, cost, and the project status to date. Our resource center and administration block is a three-story building. The area is 960 square meters. We were informed by the headmistress to maintain the character and the theme of the school, so that informed our gray and block theme. Currently, um we are done with the design process, we are done with the bills of quantities, um, we have done a post pre-contract test and site surveys. Um, we are currently almost done with the pre-qualification of the contractors, main contractors and subcontractors, that is, and then we we'll go through the tender evaluation. All this is being handled by um, a project implementation committee. We'll be able to hand over the site to the contractor and then the project will take off. We are looking at completing this project by 2024 so that by then we'll have a successful commissioning of this project. The project is valued at $450,000. Um, 2,000 year group and their supporting year groups are taking $150,000. 2001, together with their supporting year groups, will take same, and 2002, with their supporting year groups are also taking $150,000. So when it's all said and done, what is the bigger picture? Why does this project matter to you? At the end of the day, we're all interconnected. The idea of this resource center is to train our teachers to train girls into the workforce. The next Gehe girl could be your doctor. The next Gehe girl could be your lawyer, could be the person you go to for advice. 
It's important, therefore, that we interconnect and we connect the dots. The person who comes into the workforce, being a Gehe girl, would come representing a certain standard. And that standard is why we need to deploy this project. We're therefore coming to you, telling you about this project, believing and hoping that you would reach deep into your pockets and help support this course. Knowing very well that whatever financial resource you put into this would go to bless every student who comes out of Wesley Girls High School. And we promise to deliver on this project, believing in our motto, Live pure, speak true, write wrong, and follow the king. Thank you. Somewhere in Africa, these beautiful ladies here do not need to return back to their old school to go give back to the community. They don't hold the school nothing. A student coming to raise 450,000 US dollars to give back to their community. Ghana is so me. I love not necessarily doing good but i feel like i like fairness i want there to be an opportunity for everyone that can grab it so when i see one i love it so yeah they come together they all come together raise funds plan it they took out time to raise you know to to solicit for funds and uh, what do they do with this money? They are not using it to build some town halls in their village or in their community to make them look richer than others. They are putting it back into where it truly matters. They put it back into the future, the child that is in school or the one that is supposed to be in school. Very unhappily <laughs> hand over this speech they are hosting by turn over to the 2003 year group. And I do this on behalf of the 2002 year group. the 2003 sisterhood it is an honor my executives and i find it a great honor to lead you through our walk to speech day and the hosting of 188 speech day come 2025 sisterhood my choice I don't think not that I'll ever miss any speech each day. We we'll try to do our best to ensure that uh, quality education is achieved. If you work hard, if you put in effort, you are definitely going to get the results that you have been looking for. Being here, coming back after 22 years, it's been a great day for me. Sisterhood! Women comes together to say, okay, let's raise this money. God bless you, Ghana. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
creation as well. At the end of the night, God bless you Ghanaians. Now look at this school and tell me if you will not want your child to be here. A school that has an environment that protects the girls. The same continent where some of us are from. This school, you can't even go through the gate of this school. The rich people of some countries, somewhere expense, they pay in dollars. And it's still not a guarantee that your child will be alright. That your child will come home back to you in one piece. All aware that we build our school on the almighty God. And so under no circumstance should an event be carried out without inviting the presence of the almighty God. In that regard, I'd like to invite forward Miss Rachel Digby to give us the opening prayer. Show dead out. Parade Commander Christiana Apeti marching forward. Now, inspection over. May I have your permission to carry on with the rest of the prayer? Carry on. Stand at ease. Carrying the Ghana flag, the senior color ensign is the person of Sharon Lamte of 3B1. The junior carrying the junior ensign carrying the Air Force flag is in the person of Philomena Men's Brew and the person carrying the Wesley Girls High School flag is in the person of Abu Bakar Romaina Sadiq hey, the Air Force Cadet Corps of Wesley Girls High School. Shall we put our hands together for them? <laughs> Ellen drills. No command given. And yet, executing every move with precision and accuracy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's continue to encourage them. They have been working very, very, very hard. May you continue to enjoy the fruit of your labor. Whatever seed you sow, I strongly believe you will reap. Now it becomes like a competition to succeed, not to prepare them gank. This is like a competition to succeed and give back into your community. Let's go back to Wesley College. I'll take a look at the vibes and I'll be back. <laughs> Nothing happens. 
Nani trust me everything's gonna be okay Oba na mission, oba la keda da o dende There are many times you feel not alright Tossing and turning through the night As the day goes by Seeming like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oba na mission, oba la keda da o dende have come to pass for those that have been praying oh lily stop fighting don't worry we are gonna be fine don't defend us from nigerians don't worry we are okay focus on building your channel you know you have young kids i don't want you to risk your life okay i am finally distracted and i miss fighting on the streets breaking bottle <laughs> Because that is what I was taught. Now, after taking a look at all these schools, I have no choice but to behave, to work on my character. I have to learn how to behave like, like a normal person because you can't watch all these videos and still be... See, the schools I'm seeing online, Ghana, <laughs> see, the truth is, I'm seeing so many schools online and I don't know what to say. I'm like looking at these kids and I'm like, I have a friend who is around right now she's been here for a while and since she sees this video she has been making it a duty to re-educate my daughter about her roots this morning i heard her telling wendy you are from ghana okay <laughs> all of a sudden oh my god it's not like she's been against my daughter being addressed as Ghanaian, being aware that she's Ghanaian. no but the new energy is different and i'm telling my friend all our schools that you are seeing now is why you are educating my daughter to remember that this is our country. Yeah, I love what I'm seeing. I have not had the opportunity to bless people the way I truly wish to do, but I'm a very kind-hearted person and I believe in justice and fairness. I believe in giving to everyone if I have a chance to. So when I see somewhere in Africa where that is being made available, I feel like appreciating this and I feel like the world should see. So for those of you that have been sharing my videos, I appreciate you. For those of you that have been there are so many schools that I'm going to bring. These kids are just too brilliant. I mean, this is more than just a school. <laughs>
Okay, but there's something I want to ask. Why are you all still being respectful, humble? You don't even, you don't lift a finger. You don't struggle. You don't, you don't want to brag. Well, for your information, I didn't go to this. And if anybody come at the comment section to tell me she's lying, I will post. I'm going to post my primary school, my secondary school, and the secondary schools of all people. If you're new in Ghana, you will see people are just cool with themselves. No problem. Everybody is cool. You will see rich people moving around freely. You will see everybody just living life. You can go to an area. You will see a mix of, you know, two style of living. Some are living very big. Like they have, I mean, you can see that through their cars. You can see that through their building. And you also see those that are not, that don't really have much but it's not a big deal the rich person is not afraid afraid of the one that is underprivileged they don't say oh i have to hide my money i have to hide my car because because i can get kidnapped by this one that do not have and do you know that when you educate your i mean everyone feels like okay you won't sit down as okay ah the government gave this person or the parent of this person is why this person is successful. The opportunity for you to become a better and bigger person, for you to be transformed from a scream struggle, take your family out of there, is there for you if you want. And that is by you starting your journey to greatness by being enrolled in one of these schools. Simple, you know, pass that one. You don't have any excuse why you shouldn't give it a try to see if you can go from underprivileged to privilege. The rich people of this country are here to inspire the ones that are not rich yet, financially, I mean. And it's not like they are here to prepare the poor ones. People are just genuinely just living life for that is the beauty of life. You have all of this on ground and you are not proud. You are not arrogant. Some people even feel like you are too nice. And because you are nice, they think it's because you don't have. Whereas you have so much. If you want to save your country, start with education. This is the beginning of justice. This is the beginning of fairness. This is the beginning of togetherness. If you want to save a nation that is going through a lot, start educating your young ones. See, the competition is between the students. <laughs> Everybody, this is when Ghanaians are not afraid to flaunt their wealth. When they are going back to their old school, but there are so many schools and these kids are just so brilliant. And I don't know, please watch out for the next video. Okay. I don't want, I don't want you to miss any of these videos. Don't miss any. Seriously. I'm seeing some schools and I'm like, Ghana, Ghana, why? Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. All right. If you're going for your old school meetings, especially the ladies, don't forget to invite Lily. Okay. I would like to come. Thank you for watching this one and I will see you in my next one. Bye.